In times of adversity, art can be a healer. In our next segment, Kate Bornstein profiles three musicians who faced the music about their gender choices, and in doing so, found a much more honest expression of their art. From the world of classical music to that of heavy metal, transgendered musicians are making their mark. Christine Beattie is the lead singer of Glamazon, a band she co-founded in 1993. I want people to see that um, I'm a person worthy of respect, a person worthy of civil and human rights. A lot of the songs that we do get into a social commentary. Holy War, which is the first song on our CD, um, takes to task hypocrisy in religious leaders and some followers. Christine's inner struggle to accept her identity as a woman brought her face to face with some frightening issues. In general, I haven't gotten a lot of support for this, um, from my family, from none of the people that were supposedly my friends at the time. I became a major heroin addict, and um, I was on welfare. I was no good to anybody, especially myself. She found refuge in her writing, in her work as a computer programmer, and increasingly in her music. There's just no feeling that can compete with being up there on stage with the, the atmosphere just right, and you know you're sounding good, and the crowd's loving you. Um, there's just nothing to compare with that. Rock music tends to be male-dominated in the first place, and so women being in rock, that alone is, is a challenging concept. You throw in the transgender issue on top of that, um, there's been quite a few doors that have been closed to me. Um, on the other hand, it's a great way to get people to pay attention to you. <laughs> I think there's been a lot of change in people's awareness since Billy Tipton's time. The whole transgender movement has really picked up, and the amount of education that's going on now about what transgender is and what it means is phenomenal. I didn't really have any role models uh, when I was starting out other than, you know, the, the top dollar prostitutes. And uh, um, I think it's important for uh, people with gender issues to see that you don't need to go that route, that, they're, that you can be a professional, you can be an artist, you can be whatever you set your mind to be.